Yes, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Red Devil Talk. And today I've got a very, very special guest. I've been trying to get him on for the longest time. And he needs no further introduction. I mean, or unless you want to introduce yourself all over again for like people at home. Yeah, I'm Mama Nyang from uh, Suswallows, Sundown, Super Sport, Wolfsburg, Viking, Kong Swinger, yeah. and Tax player. Let's listen to that. Uh, uh, this guy had a stellar career, people. So, you know, the, the list is very long. Like, I, 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 I honestly, like, I've followed you, like, ever since you came to South African football. But, like, I never understood how you managed to like play for so many teams and you know it wasn't mm. that really challenging no it wasn't challenging at all eh? it wasn't challenging mm. some of them was was uh, decisions i made according to my career the course of my career some was decisions i made because i want to i want to go to the next level mm. some was mm. decisions i make because i wanted i wanted the financial fair basically so yeah oh okay and um i firmly remember like your 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 season in 2005 2006 i was actually at the at one of the games that you played and yeah. you know that that season i actually hated you because i'm a chiefs fan so you know <laughs> like uh, <laughs> you used to yeah you, you were just you were just unstoppable at the time and i was like why don't you sign you or something you know and you ended up somewhere else and I was so angry at the time. Well, but yeah, man, tried, tell me about... They, they, they tried, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man, no. We, we could have, at least we could have had you and, and and we needed a strike at the time, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. So, um, um, tell me more about what, what, what really drove you that season, you know, uh, to win the Golden Boot and, and to be at that level that you were at. You know... When I came to South Africa, when I came to Swallows, yes. I was I was supposed supposedly it was uh, replacing Lungi Sanindela, in a way. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So when so when I came, Gavin told me that Ndela scored nine goals in the league, okay. and and I think five or three in the cup cup game. Mm -hmm. So my my I had a, I had a. Oh, I think you're on mute, sir. Yeah, yeah. No, there were there was a call coming. Sorry. So basically, oh. I was I was I was like a it was like a challenge for me to to fill up Della's boot. So mm. I think that that was what what drove me because when I came, Gavin said to me, "The guy who, who you replaced did 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 mm. so and so and so." So I'm not asking you to do it right away, but if you can if you can work for the team and be a team player i'm happy with that so i end up scoring 15 goals in the league in the season and i become top scorer and yeah and the rest was in history yeah um like you summed it up perfectly there so you yeah. say that it was like the manager's drive uh yeah, behind this drive and belief behind you yeah yeah, and, and yeah, Gavin gave me a lot of belief, and uh, my teammates also. There were doubts, you know, when you when you when you when you when you young, and you fresh, you come from a different country. I couldn't speak English then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so I told myself uh, one thing I need to do is work hard. Mm -hmm. Just put my head down and work hard. That was the only way if I could get over 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 the over the line. So. Thankfully, I was lucky enough to play with quality players such as my Mani Piri, mm -hmm. you know, Tapelo Liao, you know, those those players, they were they were they were another level. Cecil Orson, yeah. you know, yeah. Ashley Opperman, you know, that could give me deliveries I wanted. And Gavin set mm -hmm. up the team around me. You know, so it was it was easy for me to basically excel in a way. So yeah. That yeah, because hey, when I, when when you first came in, uh, I mean, I was like, "Who's this tall dude?" Because you know, like you were very tall, like 
even like as a spectator like watching in the stadium like you like you, you were just a cheat code for like uh for managers like everyone had to just look the ball up and yeah. you, you know yeah. pretty much that you were gonna <laughs> get yeah. there so yeah. um yeah like um obviously i know after swallows uh you you move you got your move to Wolfsburg, right if i'm correct yeah yeah and how how was it like actually um moving from the south african football standards and then having to adapt to the german uh standards because i know that those are two different levels yeah you know when i when i when i left south africa i was the top striker in the country yeah so when you come to a professional level like sa you will think ah i've reached the i've reached the level i want to be but yes. i was i was i was very young and when i went to germany i realized this level is actually 10 times harder 10 times quicker mm. 10 times better than the sa level because it's bundesliga yeah. obviously it's, it's it's the top four best league in the world so i struggled a bit in the beginning the first six months was hard but uh, I, I, I had the, the backing of the manager, which which he, which I appreciated, and he saw my my hard work and my dedication. He he managed to give me give me good games despite despite the the, the top strikers I was challenging for the for the place we, against. Yeah. And like if you mention Edin Dzeko, now he's is he was top scorer in 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 Italy, and he has been Roma captain. Now he joined Inter among the top scorer captain of his country you know we had a player from brazil that was also a top top scorer in in the in the bundesliga we had basically the two top scorers in the bundesliga in one year one season the first and the second <laughs> in our team yeah. so it was hard for me but i did i never gave up i always i was always in the squad often in the squad even if i didn't play i was on the bench i got i gained some experience i, I become better a player playing with those guys mm -hmm. you know i've i've played some games i've i've been to i played against bayern munchen in the semi-final i've yeah. been in dortmund, in dortmund arena you know this i experienced so many great stadiums while playing for Wolfsburg, and that was that was a, a huge highlight of my career yes but yeah and yes so, um, you, you, you pretty much uh, uh, uh summed it up there because I mean, a lot of players, the mistake that they make is thinking that, you know, the South African football is like a place where you've made it and they don't want to yeah. challenge themselves further. Yeah. That's so, the thing. That's like, the thing. seeing you move to so many teams, I can tell that you wanted to challenge yourself constantly yeah. and you wanted to, to prove different aspects of your game. And mm. yes, man, uh, overall, how would you, like, uh, rate yourself? Um, in the Bundesliga, like your 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 stay there, I I I would rate it a two, two out of ten because mm. I, I I I I wasn't given a fair chance, which I understood because yeah. the players that was playing in my position was doing well. So mm -hmm. as a as a footballer as a footballer, you need to accept when somebody is better than you. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I accepted, but I never gave up. That's that's one thing I, I I've always had in my mind. I never gave up in my career. I've always had mm -hmm. had this drive in me that no matter who is in front of me, you can put Ronaldo or Messi. I will still mm -hmm. I will still I will still fight for my position. That's the kind kind of player mm -hmm. I was. Mentally, I was I was I was a very strong guy mentally, and I was I was always prepared to fight for my for my position. And and okay. and and what 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 I was good at. What I was good at in every mm -hmm. country I've been, I'm the best at it, which was aerial ball. Yeah. There was no, there was no, there was no country I went, and uh, and and I'm uh, and I'm not part of the best best aerial deal in the in the country, despite Germany. In Germany, I didn't get that that much that much time to play. Mm -hmm. I remember when I went to Norway. The yes. guy that scouted the guy that scouted me came to me one 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 training session. The training was finished. He said to me, he said to me, in this part of the world, 
I haven't seen anybody better than you in there. And that's yeah. those are those are those are messages you hear from from top coaches that gives you even a bigger drive, you know, in your in your life. Very true. I wasn't the most skillful one, and I wasn't I I I I couldn't dribble and I I wasn't fast. But one thing I mm-hmm. knew for sure is I knew where the target was. Was, so yes. when I'm given when I'm given a chance, I will score. No, in every that, team, that, in every team, in every team I've been, my 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 goal percent percentage speaks for themselves. Mm-hmm. If you count the, the amount of game I played and the amount of goal I scored, they always they always in over the 50 percent mark. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. Wolfsburg is the only club I played for and never scored a goal. Only club. Yeah, that, I've, I've, I've actually noticed that that's the only, only, only club that you have played for, but you've never scored. Yeah. But uh, um, and then like I feel like you found your way, in, uh, like your footing in Norway. You know, when you got yeah. to Norway, like you just, you know, everything yeah. just clicked for you again. Yeah. So like, what yeah. what was the reason behind that? Like. You know, you know when you come from a league like Bundesliga, yeah, the the the, the level is so high that when you go to a league to a league that's that's a little bit less, the the, the level is a little bit high, a little bit less higher. It's it's mm. obvious that you would you would you would perform if you're good enough. So that's that's what happened when I went to Norway because when I went to Viking, I came the last six months of the season they were playing in the europa league already and i managed to score seven goals in like 10 games or something mm. so so i hit the ground running and i was i was like i was terrifying the defenders you know on my days on my good days defenders don't sleep when they play when they have to play me <laughs> they don't yeah. sleep I, and I, and i used to i used to basically talk I'm a, i was a, like a michael jordan type i talk i tell them today my friend yeah. you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna have the game of your life that i promise you <laughs> and 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 the way it, i say it is the way it's gonna happen because there is no defender mm-hmm. center back that plays against me and come out and say no i had an easy game no no defender mm-hmm. nobody even on my even on my late late stages of my career there's no yeah. defender that came out against me and say oh i had an easy game no chance mm. no well, that's chance. testament to your hard work man that's yeah. testament to your hard work and your ethic that, that and how you you actually showed how to be a model professional in football as well and mm. for those who are at home who've been listening um you can you more or less get get why what it takes to be a a, a guy like mommy young and have a very strong mental capacity and at the same time always have that drive to to yeah. to go into that field and actually try and accomplish something so yeah i mean like obviously i know you've moved on to like uh sundowns and super sport and uh uh tux you, you actually uh, what i also want to touch upon most importantly because i feel like that part most people know um is that you actually um studied at, at at university of pretoria is that true yeah i study a little bit i study some 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 things a little bit because during my career what i've done is i've learned languages mm. so when i left senegal when i came to swallows i could only speak wolof and french that's it yes mm. yeah so now i speak norwegian i speak english and i speak german and i speak mm. a little bit of swedish so so those are the things that i've you know i've I, I went to school you know i studied i studied but football just just was too strong enough for me to not to continue my study okay and uh and and in in that manner i wanted to to get to a place where i could study the certain things that could help me when i retire from football which yeah. i did yeah so would you say um you 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 love your new role right now because I know now you you are apparently coaching a, a, a development side of your 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 former club. 
Yeah. And how's that going? How's the transition from being a football player to being an actual manager? Like, how? How? What? What are the difference? What's the difference? It's, uh, it's challenging. It's more challenging. You have more more to do. You know, when you are a footballer, you are you are a piece of a puzzle. Yeah. But when you are a coach, you are you are in charge of the whole puzzle. <laughs> you understand? So so basically, yeah. I've 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 taken over two teams. I've, I'm coaching a team in the fifth division, a senior team. Mm -hmm that I took to, to the second place, that they never been in the second place in the fifth division for 17 years. Mm. So this year I, I took over, then they, they finished second, they lost one game, whole season. Mm -hmm. The only team that, that, that uh -huh. won more games is the team that, 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 that went up to the, to, the, to, the, to the division, or to, 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 the, okay. uh, to, the, up, uh, to the fourth division. They're gonna go through quali okay. qualifiers. And, yeah, okay. uh, and and I'm also coaching uh, the academy team of my my former team, the the G40 U14. Mm. And that 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 team also I'm third in the log. I've been we've been top of the log for a while now, but we lost two games in a row, so that put us third in the log. But so I'm okay. I'm getting some 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 coaching experience, which is gonna help me to which gonna help me to reach my goals which is becoming a, a professional trend that's my job that's my that's my next goal yeah because you know people think you know um just because you're a player then you know it's gonna be just easy stepping up to the to being a manager when it's two different sides of the coin it's and completely different, completely different. it's yeah so um I can see that okay your future you're gonna be you want to be a manager who who would you like who, who which team is like your dream team that you'd like to manage one day uh, if i if i would choose i would choose chelsea ah uh, you're such you're letting me down now i thought you were gonna say <laughs> manchester united or something. <laughs> uh, no that team that team is inconsistent man. <laughs> today they win tomorrow and it's like, you never know <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna give their fans heart attack. Those ones. <laughs> it's like it's, it, you, 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 you actually, you actually uh, supporting two teams that gives gives people heart attack. Chiefs and Manchester United. <laughs> 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 hey, you can see I'm, I've, 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 I've lost hair, man. I've lost, lost hair supporting you guys, man. Hey, it's a problem. <laughs> Ish. No, but they, they they are they are still big teams. Those two teams are still uh, big teams in, yeah. in their countries. Never mind what they're yes. doing, but they still they still top teams. Yes, very true. Um, yeah. but yeah, like um, who would you say was like your favorite player growing up? Zidane. Mm. I was why big why Zidane. Player. I don't know, man. It's, you know, he makes football look so easy. You know, the, the best footballers in the world, they make football look easy. Your Xavi, your Iniesta, your Pirro, your Zidane. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a striker, but I had, you know, Ronaldo, the old Ronaldo, the fat one, was my favorite striker. And Van Nistelrooy. Yeah. I used to like those two. Van Nistelrooy, I like him because he was a predator. Like everything that comes yeah. into that box, he will finish it. Then, yeah, was... then, then Ronaldo was Ronaldo was a different class. Everything you want from a number nine, he got he got it. He was like a mm -hmm. complete number nine, you know, quick, mm -hmm. good in the good on the ball. The only negative part was his heading, and he's what he does with his feet covers probably his heading. Okay. But it's you know like I never seen Zidane and Ronaldo. They 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 mark my generation. Like they were like mm. they were like on top there. They were like really in the on on the another level. Yeah, no. And yeah, man. Like um, obviously with the, um, I'm trying to learn new languages myself. So 
yeah. um i wonder like was it how was it like learning uh from moving from french and trying to like learn german because i know like it's the the two different yeah. types of german learning. german german thank thank god it was a professional level because in south africa they never got us teachers to come to teach us english we have to learn it on our own mm. but in germany once you sign a contract they pay the club pay for a teacher to come to your home mm. so basically after training the teacher comes straight to your home before you take a nap you must do one hour so man they, that's how professional they were they like mm. it's, it was a, it was another level you know south africa when you sign a new contract you got to find yourself an apartment you're going to go buy yourself furniture you know there's too many things mm. going on to the footballer's head in germany they do yeah. everything for you mm. they have a person that hired to go find an apartment for you you just you, all you go, have to do is go for viewing if you like it you said i like it they said pick your they send you pictures pick your the the furniture you want pick the tv you want you pick somebody brings it to your home install it mm. everything you don't do anything wow because because they want to prepare you to comp- to to just perform your job is yeah. is not to go look for apartment or buy grocery or buy furniture your job is to perform in the pitch mm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you you yeah. mentally prepared you mentally prepared to 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 just go out there and you know do what you what you do best. No, I've I I never knew that. Like you you just enlightening that's, me to like you letting me know of new information I knew nothing about. Like that's how that's how professional it it gets up there. Mm. But yeah. obviously it's because it's. I've, it's I've, yeah obviously it's, it's all up to the to the standard also the standard of living is high you know everything is high so they don't expect mediocrity mm-hmm. so that's why when you when they when they sign you as a player and you don't perform they will come to you they will say dude neil look we spend money on you <laughs> you're getting a big salary mm-hmm. you're getting a big sign on fee come on where is the performance You they're see? not shy to do that they're not shy to do that mm. in in africa they don't do that they will just let you play play until they 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 tire with you then they 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 terminate your contract done you are out yeah so, so that they need to, they need to work on that mm. i yeah, feel we have a I, long way to go no we have a long way to go we 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 striving to 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 perfection but we still far from it mm-hmm. so yeah man like um that's that's something i think um cuz since you guys now are, are, are influential figures you know in, in in the african continent you know um people look up to you guys and what you have achieved in football and you know i think this is a good time where you guys now you go there like to these guys and you tell them like um you give them these suggestions that you know our football could improve if so and so if we do this or we do that you know because i feel like we're letting ourselves down um do. right now with 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 such what what the clubs or or in general not being meticulous but what football yeah. players not caring about football players you know what i'm saying So But you see you see the biggest problem what's the biggest problem I would just yes. always take I would always take reference in South Africa because South Africa is one of the best league in 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 Africa Yes and to improve things if you see teams if you see owners that don't know nothing about football buying a football club because mm. they just they have money yes. and instead of hiring people that that has done it that know the business they go mm. hire people that they just feel like it are the right people there but they're not mm. how many how many former players do you see in south africa 
that's that are sitting home doing nothing. There's so many of them. Yeah. And they, these and these guys they can they they could they could they could do so much for South African football. They could mm -hmm. they could help so much the football clubs and help these owners to improve everything. Mm. Mm. I mean I mean they are uh, my man Ipiri, my man Ipiri, he played in Europe. Mm. Mm. He played in the World Cup, he was an international. True. You don't even see him getting involved in any club. Those are those are huge figures of South African football. Mm. How many of them are there? There are Steven Pinard, played in Everton, big player, Tottenham. Mm. You know? Those are the players you should get into the clubs and get them, you know, get them, give them that, that chance so they can because they they know what, what football players feel. They know how, some football players can be can be very bad in one season. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you just throw them away, you, you're basically throwing a career. Yeah, true. Rather, rather bring them back, talk to them. They know that's why England they, they, they don't call they don't say coach anymore. They say manager. You, you, you need to have people that can manage it. They are humans at the end of the days. Yes. You should be able to manage them and bring them back, see what's their problem. Go through their family, help them, you know? Be involved. Some people are vulnerable. Yeah. If you help them and bring them back, they will perform the way you want them to perform. Yes. yes. Mm. But it doesn't help to just, to, just, to just throw them away and go find another one. If that other hey. one doesn't work, throw them away and you go find another one. I feel like South Africa mm -hmm. has so much talent, so much, uh, this like, you go to the street, you see some footballers, they have so much talent, but they don't have, mm -hmm. like, there's nobody getting getting into them and helping them the way they should be helped. True, true. And it all, all goes down to these clubs, these people that buy clubs, Bit Vert's, Vert is such an iconic club. Mm -hmm. Bloemfontein Celtics with the support group they have. Such an amazing mm -hmm. support group. They sold these clubs just like that, out of the just blue. Like that. Yeah. Just it's like a that. problem. It's a big problem. But people don't mm. realize that because everything, all they see now is money. When the money is there on the table, they, they, they're blind. Hey, bro. Yeah, it's, they're blind. I think, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's, it's it's a huge problem. This this whole money thing, football, where where these businessmen just coming and they they just buy football um, football clubs just on money and they have no connection to football at all. Nothing. Because now, yeah, because now you see, this is this is the problem we actually starting to have as well at 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 at, at, at Manchester United as well. If you actually look at it. Um, yeah. It's the same problems. The owners, uh, yeah. you know, they, they they don't know anything about football. They come from the mm -hmm. United States. They just yeah. saw Manchester United as, a, as an asset and they just bought them. And then they just hired business people to run the club. Like, yeah, there's no one with football knowledge in that club running it. That's that's true. And and while, while, while they do that, they have all these former players sitting, doing, working for Sky Sports. Paul you Stone, see what I'm saying? Gary Neville, all these guys that have been champions won everything for that club. Mm. Mm. Patrick, Patrick Evra, get these people involved. These <laughs> people know, know the culture of the club. They know the, the routines. They know everything mm. about the club. You, you, that's, the, that's, the, that's, that's, the, that's the biggest challenge we have in football now. Money, money yeah. is destroying football. People wanna, people wanna, hey. people wanna watch football and enjoy it. I don't mind, I don't mind rich people coming buying club. I don't mind that, but get the right people yeah. in it. People in get it. the right yeah. people in it. You know, so that's that's, yeah. that's our biggest problem in Africa. That's our biggest problem. Mm, mm. I, yeah, I it's something I, I think. I remember when I went to Royal M. 
Yeah. Royal, but they were Royal Eagles then. Yeah. I got a call from the boss and saying that I want you to come because we are in trouble. I want, I want to survive. I, I don't want to go down from the villa. Yeah. So I, what, what I answer her, I said to her, you mu- first, first thing you must do is get the right coach, somebody that knows football. Don't just get a coach that that's there mm. just because they wanna, they want money. Get the right person. Mm. I will, I will travel to South Africa and that team. If I play in that team, that team won't get relegated. That I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure about it. But get the right people around it. That's when mm. that's when she went and got Papich. But they mm. never they, they never even gave Papich a chance because Papich Papich is the kind of it's a charismatic football uh, football coach. He knows the game. Yes. He knows the game and he's he, he they fired Papich after two weeks I was there. Two weeks gone. I'm like how do you how can you fire a manager to, when how I said how do you want to get stability when you fire a manager that just came? How didn't even get a chance. You can't really call it a chance. Two weeks is yeah. two weeks is like no, you're just coming in there and you're just leaving. That's that's it's like, all it is. It, it's, it's like one draw, one win out. One draw, one defeat ah, out. Come on. come on. Football is not like that. Come then on. they then they brought that guy. What's, what was his name again? The skinny one that died long, not long ago. Mm. He was, he was, he's, uh, I think he's, yeah, I think he's from, uh, from KZM. He was skinny. He died afterwards, not long ago, actually. Yeah, I remember, I remember. The name is just escaping me right now. Yeah, the name is, uh. Uh, anyway. So when that guy mm. came, that guy, that guy has no, not, not so much knowledge about about yeah. the game. But but one thing he 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 did which I liked, he, 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 his team his teams are fit. Yeah. So he made sure his training sessions they were intense. So when we come to the games, like the opponent, you they, guys... they were, they were, we 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 run the opponents off. Yeah. So he managed to take us to the quarterfinals of the NetBank Cup for the first time in that club history. Mm. We beat we beat many teams. We lost to Marisburg. I think Marisburg went to to the final that year. They lost to some Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So he, he managed. We managed to save that team, and went to the quarterfinal for the first time. Mm. They want they wanted me to continue, but I I just didn't want to continue because the surrounding of that club wasn't professional at all despite all the money they have mm. they, they just do things on their own they, it's, everything is like okay let's let's make sure we are in a nice hotel that's not professional that's professionalism start at the at the training ground true what the players eat how they train how they rest how they treat it you can't mm. you can't you can't open a uh, uh, like a clubhouse, yes. And you and, and you treat players like like prisoners. You can't you can't lock them in. Players need to go out. They need to get out of that place. Yes. Like you can't. There are certain players. Me, I didn't mind. I didn't care because I could stay in and I would still perform. But for other players, it wasn't it wasn't the case because they wanted to have fun, but they couldn't perform because they, that fun is taken away from them. Yeah, yeah, no, eh, that's 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 a major problem, man. I I you remember know. there was and, I remember I remember a story about Romario. You remember Romario? Yes, hey, one of the when greatest the, strikers. When Romario signed for hmm. Valencia, Romario signed for Valencia. He played yeah. four games and he didn't score a goal. And that time, mm. Romario was his, at his peak, top striker, top goal scorer. Mm-hmm. So, so Valencia asked him, "What's wrong? Why is he not performing?" He he told the club, "When we play Saturday, let me go out on Friday." 
<laughs> they were they were thinking now nah, what is this guy talking about he said i want to just go out i'm not drinking alcohol or anything i just want to go out on friday i don't yes. want to go to the hotel they let him go out mm. saturday he's got the brace you see so you see these two balance you need to have them you when you have players like zongo for example let's say zongo yeah zongo no? it's a it's a it's a talent but it's a different po- p- person if you let him go out he's never going to come back <laughs> you won't see him he will vanish yeah but there are others that that you will let go out but they are responsible enough to go out have fun and not get drunk and they will come back and they will perform mhm mhm the the court, the way they were doing things was was right but just the just the blocking people in the, that yeah. allowed them that was the wrong that was the problem yeah so you, you you've touched on that where is i feel like when you manage players you don't manage them all in the same way there are players that you manage differently from others you understand you. it's all about understanding a player's personality and how you can get the best out of them you know thank you because thank you yes so yeah man like that's that's something you 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 obviously doing right now um and obviously it's something that you you're going to be um doing for the rest of your your your, your career you know because now you're moving into that management uh, f- uh professional management side of things yeah. so would i say that you are very, are you excited about uh your long term future in in management I'm very excited. I'm you know I'm driven. When it comes to this thing I'm driven because football is what I know. It's what I love. It was mm. it's what I want to do. Mm. My footballing career is over. Now I'm every day I'm learning. I'm watching football almost every evening. Mm. I'm I'm watching the best managers in the world. Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, Tuchel, Mourinho, Ancelotti, these guys, Zidane, these are the best in the business and yes for you to be to be better you must always watch the best true and see how they how they set up their teams how they how they press high when they want to press high how they play from the back despite yeah. despite despite me being a target man in olden days where you play long balls and flick ons mm-hmm. i i i actually played completely differently my team they play mm. football from the back because that's that's just how football is now football is is played on the floor the ball is played on the floor yeah. that's mm. that's that's just football is football change every 10 years every 10 years there's a new thing there's a different style of football yes you know pep guardiola came and and changed changed the game or the way it was when he came with barcelona and xavi iniesta and them they start playing yeah. this tiki taka then jurgen klopp came and he brought pep guardiola came with 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 a, with a mid, midfield three and the number 10 on top jurgen klopp yes. came with with a three hard hard working midfielders and and two 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 quick wingers skillful wingers that yeah. comes in and then have a number 9 mm-hmm. that drops and gets the ball the number 9 is the kind of number 10 he has because Firmino is yeah. is the one that drops and Salah and Mane they run behind. So it's like every 5 years something new comes. You can yeah. see you can see Thomas Tuchel is also coming with with a different approach. Different approaches. A team, yes. a, a, a team very resilient to be a team very difficult to score goals against. They put their body on the line, you know, they mm-hmm. win games, you know. So every coach has this this small details they have in them. And yeah. And for you to be to be to be to be to come to close to that level you need to watch those people. Mhm. So so, um, is... so would you say that your 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 philosophy is mirrored on um on Pep and and clubs style of football or would you say that you've you've just came up with your own 
you know, no, from from you know, based, based on what? Yeah, we we you always you always you always draw towards those ones because they are the best. Mm. Yeah, but obviously, obviously, because you played the game, you will always see something things differently. Yeah, but obviously, I want to play from the back. My team, I want to play from the back. Mm. But maybe, maybe I will play in a different way where I will get out of the of a pressure. Is quicker than than maybe Pep team will do. Okay, you understand. So I will I will more yeah. draw into into Jurgen Klopp's way. Oh, okay. Because they're trying to find the deepest midfield, or trying to find trying to find the the number six earlier, things like that. So the game can flow can flow quicker. Yes, because if you if you if you watch the Barcelona Pep, Pep coach, they they build up slowly. They don't rush. If it doesn't work, they go back to the keeper. Yeah. When when Jurgen Klopp came, he he made it quicker. He brought two 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 pacey wingers. If you press them very high. They will go. They will go to the number six. Who, mm -hmm. who, who's the one that 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 fit that fit those ones? Yeah. If 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 the space is closed, then Firmino drops and play that that that, that, that those small balls, those small passes. That's the one that link with the with the midfielders, the the two and the one that sits, the two that that supports. Yes. So mostly Fabinho has been doing the sitting part, then Anderson or Keita or the other ones, the, the, the other one doing the offensive part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those ones are the ones linking with Fabinho, then Salah and Mane are the then ones Salah, that, yeah. that, that finish off. So that's the reason why Fabinho is not scoring as many goals as, as Salah but and Mane. Yeah. Despite yeah. he's the, he, despite he's the number one for the team. Yeah, yeah, he's taking one for the team. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Despite he's the number nine. But if you see his touches, he's a he's a kind of number nine that's that can play as the number ten because he's a he's a yeah. very comfortable player on the ball. A play, a player you can trust with the ball, you understand? Yeah. Then you have this then you have the German approach. You know Germans. Everything is explosive. Yeah. They they their mm -hmm. teams are, are always the fittest. German teams are always the fittest. Yeah, because they no, I saw what, I saw what, 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 I saw what Dortmund when the I remember that time when they played uh, Real Madrid. I think it was in the Champions League. I think it was 2011, 2012 Champions League. They ran them off the park. Yeah, they like that. They fit. like the German teams. They are always fit. Mm. I remember when we were when we were at uh, when I was at Wolfsburg, we played a game against Palermo in Italy. Yeah, yeah. Palermo. Then they Palermo had a good team. They were in the Europa League. They were terrifying teams, big teams in in Italy. Mm -hmm. Mm. But when they came to when they when they play when we played them, they were like they were like gone after sixty minutes <laughs> because yes. because the tempo of our team was so high. They couldn't mm. find. They couldn't find each other. We press them. We win the ball. Boom, forward. They were struggling, mm. and you know, Italian teams. They normally they 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 stuck in. They don't they don't give up. They stuck in. Yeah, but yeah. they just they just couldn't hold on because we were we were that good that day, and we were that fit. We were fitter than them. Yeah, no, so, the intensity was. Yeah, how did you handle the intensity though? Yeah. Playing it at, was hard. Um, it was hard. The first, that, but... the first hmm. three months was hard, but 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 me, I'm a I'm a I'm an athlete, you know. To be a footballer, yeah. you need to be an athlete, and I'm an athlete. Me, I'm a you know I'm a training freak. I train all all the time. Yeah. So hmm. it didn't hmm. it didn't take me time to really adapt to to the to the tempo. Yeah, no. Um, and obviously, a diet, a good diet, is actually good as well. Yeah. Always have a, what, a, a what, 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 what you eat, what you eat is how you deliver in the pitch. If you're eating burgers only, 
you're going to be heavy when it comes to the game. That I can tell you. Mm. You won't move a leg. Like, no, people are going to go past you like you are 79 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's just football, man. That's just life of a sport, mm. man. Living healthy is is very important. It's not. It doesn't even need yeah. to be football. Any sport you do that require running and physical physical thing, you need to eat right. And that's yes. that's that's one of our biggest challenge compared to Europeans. Europeans, their 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 lifestyle is. It's very good. They eat. They eat well, and they eat, they eat properly. Yes. You know the quantity of food they eat on pre-match meal compared to us is 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 unbelievable. You can't believe it. When yes. we when we eat pre-match meal, we just think, okay, let me just let me just fill up my tummy. <laughs> some of us don't even eat some yeah. of us like like me i was when i was in africa i was like i was like i didn't i didn't feel hungry before the game okay i was like i would i would eat a, i would eat some fruit then i'm done i'm ready yeah that's how i was but that, it was bad it was bad because Fruit only can't can't hold you the whole for ninety minutes. Mm. Mm. You you will feel it after fifteen after sixty sixty five minutes. You will you will feel that you are you need food again. Yeah, yeah. So I I don't know how you kept it up, man. To have that stamina yeah. and. Um... On the pitch the and what I used to what I used, to, what I used what I used to do is always have a have an apple and a and a banana while while we play on the mm. bench, you know. So when I when you have a yeah. kind of break, I can just go get it and and I eat. Then I you know get some more sugar before I before I continue. Mm. That's what I used to do. Mm. Mm. All right, man. Um, yeah, uh, it's 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 been it's been a very enlightening interview. You know, um, I learned so much. You know, that, like I didn't think I I knew um, a lot of these things, but I'm glad that I brought someone with your experience and with your qualities and and, and knowledge in the game yeah. to be able to sit down with you and talk, talk to you, sir. And no, a, yeah, just a before you, 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 yeah, just before you, 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 you decide to leave us. Um, I know it's the Manchester United versus Liverpool game. You don't support any of those teams, right? But no, I don't. What? What? <laughs> so, what's the result? What? What do you think would be the result today? I think if if United defends well, because that's where I'm worried. If they defend well, they can win the game. If they mm. defend well, and as if they defend as a unit, defending well doesn't mean just the back four and the mid and the holding midfielder and the keeper. Yeah. It's the whole team. Yes. Ronaldo must get involved. Fernandez must get involved. The wingers must get involved. Then they have a mm. chance. But if they if they don't defend well, I'm I'm scared they're gonna they're gonna lose bad. Yeah, that's that's because my the, fear as well. Because the first half they played against Atlanta. If yeah. they play like that against Manchester, against Liverpool, they will they will be beaten. Mm. Mm. Because because Liverpool defense is very resilient. It's it's not a, it's not an easy defense to break. Yeah, and no, I've, and I've, they have. I've, I've, a, and they have and they have a top keeper. But if the game is the if the game is is tight. Like United have, you know, they have they have forward players that can hurt you. Mm. They can, you know, they can deliver a moment of magic, like Ronaldo did, like you know, Rashford, Pogba. They all they 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 quality players. 
Mm. Mm. Liverpool, Liverpool is more like a, a, a team. United is more like good individual that that can that can yeah. decide again. That can decide again. So yes. it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see. Yeah. But yeah, man. Um, obviously, um, people would like to know where they can follow you or they can. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, on I'm, on, media I'm on. I'm on. I'm. I'm on all social media, except Twitter. Yeah. Just every everywhere <laughs> is just Mamenyam. Except Twitter, everywhere is just Mamenyam. My my full name. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I guess you guys heard that uh from the tall man himself um make sure you do follow him and keep and check just to see his progress and with his coaching career and everything and yeah. sir once again it's been a pleasure having you man um, thank you man. thank you i hope i hope we will have this discussion again soon because i also i, I might also join you in going into this coaching thing i'm actually thinking of getting a coaching license myself no, that's good and that's good. getting involved more in the game you should do that that's good that's very good yes um, that's good yeah so I, I will be coming to you for some a lot of from for a lot of advices on on on, on, on a lot of things in terms of yeah. uh, management no and stuff no no problem all right I'll guys be, yeah. uh this is us uh, me and Mamini Young will be signing out now. Uh, thanks for tuning in in the Red Devil Talk. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to me on YouTube. I'll later be uploading this content on YouTube as well. And yes, uh, Mamini Young, I hope you enjoy the game. Yeah, thanks, man. You too. Good luck. Take care, my friend. Cheers. And there was Mummy Niang, guys. Take care.